During the pandemic, a 25-year-old from Montana set out on a mission to go on 50 first dates with a different woman from each state. It took him five and a half months, and he documented the whole experience on social media. Matthew Wernig is with us this morning. Tell us more all about it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. How are you? So uh, we're doing great. And, you know, this whole idea started during the pandemic when you wanted to get out of the house. Is that right? Yeah, I started during the pandemic, and it was a way just for me to entertain myself and entertain those around me because uh, everything in the news and media was pretty negative at the time with you know, COVID and, and the cases and deaths and, and everything like that. So I tried to create something to turn people's attention away from that. And so that's how this whole project started. What is the motivation of these women to be part of some social media experiment? Uh, well, you know, uh, the first season when I did this, the first go around, uh, it was definitely, I think, them in the same boat as me. Like, oh, this is fun and something during the pandemic that we can kind of tag team together in a way where uh, the second season's a little different. Uh, girls applied, and I think that's because, um, you know, the winner at the end, uh, me and her will go to Puerto Rico for four nights, all expenses paid for, and um, I, they were highlighted all across social media, and my cameraman followed them around. So there was a lot of cool things involved along alongside just going on the date with me. So, I mean, are you just going to the Applebee's or do you have to come up with like a fun date? And this had to get costly after a while. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely not cheap to uh, travel and I mean with gas, hotels, dates, and everything because I make sure I pick up the check on all the dates I go on. But uh, I told all my dates that I don't want to go on fifty dinner dates. You know, I want to do fun, exciting things. So I've gone on helicopter tours, different bike rides, zip lining. Um, uh, taken dancing classes. We've gone on plane rides, uh, hot air ballooning. So many fun things because uh, that makes for really good content and just a really fun experience overall. I mean, didn't you? It wasn't at some point you had to really like one of the girls that you met, and then you still have to go to 49 different states and date other people. Yeah, you know, that's sometimes a challenge of it because I could have a really good connection with one, but at the end of the day, I have to move on so I can, you know, go on all 50. So that can be kind of a challenge. But it has a legit relationship emerged from all this when all is said and done. Uh, you know, uh, a legit relationship hasn't happened. I did just pick my, uh, my season two winning date, which was my Illinois date, um, which was very cool. And so me and her will go to Puerto Rico uh, over Valentine's Day in February, and we have some fun little dates coming up planned and whatnot. And we were uh, on big news outlets in New York and everything, so we've shared a lot of cool experiences with each other. So we'll see if, you know, there's sparks in the air as we continue hanging out and everything. Does she know you're not quite sure about her, <laughs> even though she's going to Puerto Rico with you? No, I think I think that me and her were both just we're both just kind of feeling this out. You know, she was excited to be my winner, and we've only met or uh, like four times in person. And so oh. since I'm in Montana, she's in Illinois, and so where I think in the Illinois? more we start, oh, uh, she's right outside the Chicago area. Oh. Um, yeah, her name's I Cassidy, believe, right? Yep, yep. I yep. believe it's is there Oak Brooks. Her. Oh, okay. Is that a point? For sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. What have you learned about women with all this new experience yeah. you've gained? I don't know if I've learned too much about women, my friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, it's uh, it, you know, I've gone on a lot of dates, and I think I one thing is just you got to make sure whenever you take a girl, you make them feel comfortable. Uh, you get into a relaxed environment, so then that way nothing's like because first dates can be awkward, sure. right? But yeah. um, you know, when we share all these cool experiences and we can relate on just kind of a a human to human level that makes things comfortable for both of us and we have a really good time. Yeah. So Matthew, let me leave you with this advice that I give to all 20 year old men. You date crazy, you don't marry it. Just remember <laughs> that. You can all right, note it, note it, I'll remember that. Check out more at 50dates50states.com. You can also follow him on social media. Thanks, Matthew. Good luck, Matthew. Hey, thank you guys so much. Boy, you're like, you're like a, well, You're like a sage. You're I so wise. I left a lot of failed relationships behind me, so I have a lot of knowledge. <laughs> God.